Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, it seems like whenever people talk about needing to generate some hydrogen for a chemistry experiment, everybody always defaults to electrolysis, you know, crack water to produce hydrogen and oxygen. Well, yes, that is possible, but uh, electrolysis of water takes an awful lot of electricity to generate a meaningful amount of hydrogen, or oxygen for that matter. And so if you just need small quantities of hydrogen for laboratory experiments, there are easier ways to generate it. One of them is to take some muriatic acid. Now, this is a form of hydrochloric acid that is rel relatively cheap and readily available at your local hardware store. It is sold as a concrete cleaner primarily. Uh, and some aluminum or other active metal uh, that we can react it with to form hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas produced by this process may contain traces of hydrogen chloride gas as well, which is the anhydrous form of hydrochloric acid. Uh, however, the hydrogen chloride can easily be removed by bubbling the gas through a solution of sodium hydroxide. Uh, any remaining hydrogen chloride gas in the uh, gas will react with the sodium hydroxide to form water and sodium chloride. If you get a white precipitate forming in the uh, sodium hydroxide solution, that's most likely some aluminum hydroxide uh, from spatters that uh, may get into the tube from, in this case, previous uses. Now, one word of caution. The reaction is significantly exothermic, and the reaction rate, of course, is temperature dependent. Uh, so the reaction will typically start off quite slow, and then the reaction rate will increase as time goes on, both because the solution starts to heat up, and as the acid attacks the aluminum, uh, the surface becomes pitted and increases the surface area, which also increases the reaction rate. That's quite the little hydrogen torch. Anyway, hope you found this little demonstration useful. Thank you for watching the Idaho Show.